Hey guys, check this out here. I got uh, this QSP knife called the Gannet. I had seen this here and there, okay? And I liked the look of the design. I thought it was intriguing. But also the fact that you can get this bolster thing. This is kind of that red, black, carbon fiber mix. And then micarta. So I like that. I like the fact that these liners show. It's got a backspace around it. I like that deep carry pocket clip. I like that too. Right hand only tip up, but okay. Uh, it's a liner lock and lock up is pretty strong there. That's you know 35%. Here's your pass through for uh, disengaging and it drops. Now, it's not, doesn't have a flipper tab up here and no thumb studs. This is a front flipper. Bang. 154 CM steel. Check that out. I like that. I, I don't know what it is. It was just, you know, something you either like the design or you don't like the design. And I like the design of this. Uh, and I can't exactly tell you why. It just, they, it either appeals to your eye or it doesn't. Um, the screws are kind of muffin top. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it'd be nice if they were flat like that. You don't even see them, do you? Because they're like that. They're flat. But here, it'd be nice if they were flat. I think people ought to think about things like that because that does interfere, you know, with the amount of room allowance you have for that pocket clip to go over the lip of your pocket. But, okay, I'll say that and then I'll shut up. Um, it's centered. Lock rocker blade play? Nope, none of that. Nope. Drop? Yes. Cut your finger off? Yes. Because there's no flipper tab. To, <laughs> there's no flipper tab. Okay, okay. So if you, you know, you, you figure out your own system here. But right there, if I just kind of really choke up on that area right here, I'm it, it is hitting me on the thumb. So, um... It's pretty quick over the detent ball. Uh, and how's the detent? Okay, I can kick it out that way. Let me see if I can do it this way. Oh, I did, I did. Okay, um, okay. Uh, I would have to say that, as far as I'm concerned, I'm good with the detent. These front flippers, I don't want them to be a real strong detent. I really don't. So, and I'm glad they don't do them like that, usually. So, I, I'm, I'm really good with that. This is easy to stroke and get right out there. Um, they didn't give you a lot up here, but they gave you enough. And the jimping goes down this far. That's a good looking knife, though. I like the color of that. Now, now, hold on. Um, White Mountain, that's where I got mine. And, of course, uh, they're out of stock now. So, go ahead. Feel free to get one. Now, they'll, they'll come in and out of stock, I'm sure. Uh, so, this is kind of interesting. Like a black linen micarta with that red and black bolster. Then, this is just the green and black linen micarta. And then, this is the one I got. So, interesting. 154 CM. I'm good with that steel. I think I read somewhere that a lot of knife makers like 154 CM because it it finishes so well. You can buff it up. It it you know it's a good steel to work with, and so they like it for that reason. And you know, hey, it's a good user steel too. So this you can strop, you can sharpen, you can work with this. Uh, and you got a little choil in here, so you can get your sharpening right up to that area without hitting anything. And, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, you got these steel liners, and that's nice. And But this looks like a, like a black G10 backspacer, but it's pretty long here. I don't think there's any danger no, of touching that blade. No, no. Uh, so, hey, that's good. But an interesting knife for no more than they are. What would I just 
show you uh, 8250 so LTK discount code uh, takes 10% off so eight dollars and 25 cents so um, you know that's in the mid 70s uh, my carta carbon fiber 154 cm okay I mean I'm, I'm, I don't think that's unreasonable at all uh, things are competitive in the knife world these days but no I don't think that's I don't think that's unreasonable yeah, centered up. QSP, they're making some interesting knife knives. I mean, I got the Legatus just recently as well, and that is a good looking knife. Here's my Legatus. Um interesting. This one is all kinds of crazy, isn't it? M390. That black and red carbon fiber, titanium, all this crazy stuff. Uh BD. Oh, this is dbw dutch blade works design yes i forgot about that oh that's like my xerxes which was the tashi baruka uh, goody von popple got together and they did the xerxes and then uh, dutch blade works came out with that so this is dutch blade works collaboration with qsp it ain't a cheap knife but it um this we'll talk about it later it's it's a hell of a knife um but, you know, so QSP, ooh, they're bringing the game um, here. And another thing that they do that I like, oh, it's a nice magnetic closure, and they give you information on the end right here. And there's your, your model number. But also, you get a nice little card here, and the good thing is uh, there's a warranty with the little scan thing you can do. And then they give you the basic... Um, information on the knife so that's nice i mean it's not a full eight inches long but you can see it's about 3.4 inch blade uh 7.9 inches overall length that kind of thing so uh that's interesting back to the knife let's see if we can cut ourselves let's see if we can't um yeah i i, I think it it it's a good design to to me. I mean, my own feeling about it. But also, it's easy to kick open. And the ergos are good. Right here, everything else, this is very neutral. You can get right on board. Reverse grip is very comfortable too. Okay, And it's not that t terribly small. Let me put the tape on it. And then I'll bring a couple of knives out for comparison. But, yeah, 3.37, maybe close to 3.4 inch blade at, you know, I mean, 90 millimeters would be three and a half inch. So it's, you know, 87, 88 millimeters. And overall, not quite eight inches, but damn near at uh, 20 centimeters. So, and... Let's the handle's substantial. It fills your hand. 13.5 millimeters at 0.53. So it's not a slender handle. And take a look. It it looks to me like it's got a little bit of contouring in here. And maybe that's just a visual that you know an optical illusion but it looks like it's thicker in here than it is back here and it is except i can't get all the way down see this is the same 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 and i don't know if i just am not down let me see if i can get back here i don't know it I'm thinking it's thinner. I'm thinking it's thinner back here. I don't know. I, I can take the pocket clip off and measure that when I get to that point. I'm going to take it apart. No entrance here. Entrance here. So hopefully it's a D-shaped pivot because you don't want to spin the pivot trying to take it apart. And you got body screws here because you've got, you know, a section here and a section here. 
So that ought to be interesting. You've got, like I said, some big old thick liners, steel liners that are showing. So uh, that that makes it feel really, really strong. Uh, let me see what the uh, blade thickness. Oh, 0 0.11. So three millimeter. Okay. Uh, hold on. Did I measure in the wrong? No, no. Hold on. No, that's right. Okay. Three millimeter blade stock. So it's fairly thin. I'm surprised it's that thin. I would have guessed probably 3.3 .3 to 3.5. There you go. And come here, buddy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's sharp. That's really sharp. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got the memo. That's nice. Centered. Yeah. It, it's It's all good. Like I said, the ergos, the reverse grip. Now where are we centered? Um, found it pretty easy right there. So no blade play, lock rock, no problems there. The quality seems pretty good. I just got it out of the, you know, out of their inventory uh, at White Mountain. So, you know, it is what it is. It wasn't a specially picked knife for me. And uh, yeah. It's good. It's in and out of the pocket pretty well. That pocket clip's good. I like it, at least. It seems to function pretty well. I mean, I, it's very similar to my Best Tech Swordfish. See that? And that? Pretty close. And this is definitely easy in and out of the pocket. Now, I think, if I had to guess how much it weighs, I'd say... 1.3 no, i'm just kidding uh let me guess though how with it um <laughs> you saw the stats right on the card okay 3.45 ounces i was gonna try and pull one over but i didn't think that was gonna work okay 97 grams yeah so not bad it's lighter than the paramilitary 2 and of course the para 2 is a bigger knife See what I'm saying? It's a bigger knife. Not a whole lot bigger. But it's some bigger. Somewhat bigger. I wish I had my little pair of three around here. Well, I mean, QSP, Prickle. Mm, getting closer. This is a little bit smaller than the para. How about my Asher Knives Flashback? Ah! We got the flashback bait. That's 39 bucks with Sandvik Steel. That, that is not a bad little knife either, my friends. Right there, liner lock. Let it drop, let it drop. There we go. Boy, that's a light blade. But yeah, it's, this, is, this is a pretty light knife, but it fills the hand pretty well at that 0.53 of an inch. The ergos are good. Yeah, I can feel the pocket clip, but you know, these deep carry, they sit up kind of high. After a while, you're going to feel it, you know, if you're going to do a long session with it. Otherwise, hey, I like it for what it does for the pocket. All right, well, we don't have a choice. We got to go here. So we don't need to ratchet. We just need to undo it. And that was no problem. Wow. Okay. Probably because it looks like it's got a D-shaped pivot in there. We'll know more in a little bit. Um, let's take our pocket clip off. Ooh, that one was coming off. That wasn't really screwed down very tight. So we'll do that when we reinstall it. Oh, that's strange. One longer than the other? Nope. Same length of screw there, so you won't get that confused. And, oop, let's uh, push and turn. Little number six is, you know, things can jump around with your uh, Torx driver, and uh, you just get yourself in trouble. Okay, so this is all conjoined. Look at that. Like a jigsaw puzzle. Wow. Okay. Okay, don't fall out. I don't care. Stay in there. I'll leave you alone. 
Okay, so this is the log bar side. Yeah. D shape pivot, so that's why it's not spinning, which is a good thing. Ceramic detent ball. I don't know what they did here. You can see that? It's kind of like they hit it with a little more aggressive sander in a couple of places. Uh, oh, and so now you got, you know, of course you got extra screws. You know, God forbid it be too easy to take it apart, right? Okay. Um, no, we're not going to take it apart. Uh, that's unfortunate. But um, there's no way to stabilize the backside of this. And these are turning. The whole thing's turning. So uh, I can't unscrew these. Uh, apparently they don't want you to take it apart. And that that's bothersome to me. Hey, have, a, have an area on both sides if you're going to do this. Uh, so that somebody can disassemble it. Now you can, I mean you can, you could actually knock the pivot out of here. You could pull the blade and bearings and put it back together. See, you can pull it enough apart to do that if you wanted. But, yeah, okay. So much for that idea, huh? There are other ways to clean the bearings out with pressurized air and lube and then whatever. Or even I saw Bazon Blades do it with uh, hot pressurized water and then hair dryer to dry it out and put lube on there so you can do that but apparently they don't want you into it so if they don't want me into it I won't get into it So let's get this little sucker laid down a little bit. Well, let's get this second one in here. Oh, I didn't really make contact, did I? Come on. Hmm. Got to bring a little pressure to bear, I think. Okay, so we're locked down now. Well, I wish they'd have been as tender on the on the screws for the liner as they were for that first screw on the pocket clip. <laughs> that thing was loose. Uh, but, mm, wow, that's, okay. Well, I mean, I like knives that you can take apart real easy and put back together. And so that's, that's kind of a big holdback for me. Um, that they did this in a one-piece way to where they have this series of screws holding the the liners together, the knife together, and then, but there's no way to stabilize it on the other side. So kind of killed the joy there. Uh, and it's centered, and it's back, and yeah, got a nice drop to it. QSP Gannet, front flipper. I like the design, I like the materials. Um, I don't like the number six screws. They're really, really difficult to deal with. Uh, you'll round off the tips of these real easily, okay? And so it becomes a very difficult situation. I usually keep five or six of the number six brand new ones available because this happens so often. It doesn't happen on the number eights. So, yeah, they need to get that thing solved and, uh, the internal screws are, yeah, if they would have been number eights, maybe. But you you got to get some way to stabilize them here on this side where they were just flush. Uh, I don't know how they got them mounted uh, uh, so tight, but they probably put some thread locker in there and go, we're not going to let anybody disassemble it. I'll leave you to it.
the QSP gamut and sub to this channel. That would help me a lot because you know what we do. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.